Hi friends, if you're shopping for leather goods or you're working with leather craft, you may have heard the leather weight or the thickness, and you might be confused at some point because United States use a different measure and the rest of the world talks with a different unit of measure, and you may not know how to convert and understand what they mean. Don't worry, by the end of this video, you will understand how to make your calculations and conversions really quickly and what they mean for your day for your project. So let's start with giving some examples. Depending on what unit of measure we use in the United States or the rest of the world, we're talking about the thickness. Even if, even if we call it weight, it's the thickness of the leather. So the units we use in the United States is ounces. So we call this eight or 10 ounce leather, which we refer to the thickness. And the rest of the world refers it as millimeters. And the basic conversion here you can use is one ounces equals to 0.4 millimeters. So if you hear five ounce leather, you automatically multiply it by 0.4 and you reach two millimeters and you know we're talking about a two millimeter thickness leather when we say five ounce weight. So now we understand the conversion of the units of measures. We can talk about some specific examples and what do they mean for your projects. So we go with thicker cuts of leather for projects that require some strength like belts or saddlery. So this belt blank here in front of me comes about four millimeters, which is about 10 ounces. Because we need that substance in this project, we go with thicker cuts of leather. And this is another even thicker leather I have in front of me, uh, coming about 5.4, 5.5 millimeters, which comes to about 13 ounces. And this is a sole leather that goes under the sole of your shoes. So, and it's much more stiffer, which is another terminology we use here, the temper of the leather. The leather can be thick, but it can be softer or stiffer, depending on your project, which is another explanation uh, point later on we're going to make content for. So for thicker cuts, um, we're going to use projects like belts and the things that requires a lot of strength and durability over the years, like your saddlery. And then we have the medium weights, medium thicknesses of leather, which is the most common in the industry that we use small crafts, uh, we make shoes, bags out of. This is your most common uh, thickness in, in the craftsman space. Uh, we have this cowhide in front of us and the thickness comes here, 1.8 millimeter. This is about four and a half, five ounce thickness cow leather. This is good for your typical wallets, handbags, and all sorts of small crafts that you can make with simple techniques by putting layers of them together, stitching and, and sticking them together, making wallets, um, portfolios, and, and, and even bags of this sort, which we all use the same thickness of the hides here. And the good part here is now you have some substance, and if you wanna go a little bit more sophisticated in your crafting techniques, to employ some um, stiffing agents or structure methods and inserts in your craft, you can actually split this leather in between and then put some supporting materials in between. For example, our most popular portfolio here is done that way. Let me show you one of the ruined ones already. And uh, what do I mean by that? So as you see here, this was made with the same thickness leather, but it was split it down. The top layer, which has the grain, is supported by a little bit of a um, spongy material to give some additional subtle and softness, and a cardboard to give structural integrity, and supported with the back suede again, put it back to cover that internal support material so this particular craft can actually has a lot of integrity and doesn't flap over um, from other techniques if you were to use just the leather itself as the main material on it so this definitely goes for a more complicating crafting technique but again if you're going to employ initial fillers and support material to make your craft stronger then you're going to need to 
account, uh, account for the thickness of your leather you're going to be working with. And we come to the thinnest part of the leathers. We have examples in front of us. So this is a goat suede and it's only 0 0.4, 0 0.5 millimeter, which is only one, one and a half ounces. This is really thin piece of leather. This is, this can be used to make some pouches or inner lining to any bag or shoes. It's super soft. It can be used as a garment. A lot of people make um, shirts with these kind of material. And we have another one. It's double the thickness of it. It's still a goat skin, uh, about, actually a little thicker than that, about eight, 0 0.8 millimeters, which is two ounces. And this is made specifically for glow projects. It is soft. It is actually pliable, but it has some substance to it. So it will make a pretty good glow protecting your hands. And this even has some touch screen uh, ability in the tanning. So you can even control your phone after you make a glow with this leather. Similar leathers, similar thickness leathers can be used for also projects like um, wallets, but now you're going for more complicated techniques of making like designer wallets. Here we have probably about one ounce leather used inside and the outside as well split it down so we can actually accomplish a very slim wallet even though we have layers and layers of leathers and pockets here so depending on what project you're going after and what kind of crafting technique you're going to employ the substance of your leather will be very important and the, the temper of your leather it's soft or stiff with these informations in hand and your conversion metric, one ounce equals 0 0.4 millimeters, you should be able to understand all the labels you're reading going forward and make a better decision to pick the right leather for your project next time. I hope this video was helpful, making your crafting and leather shopping easier. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell button to get a notification every time we post new content. Thank you.